The initial part of the fire actually began outside the refuge, up west of Waycross, Georgia. We were at one of the most severe and long-term drought periods that we had seen in decades. The initial fire was um, actually didn't did not start on the refuge. It started about 12 miles northwest of the refuge on private property northwest of Waycross. It was started by a downed power line and some high winds. There was somebody pretty much on the scene that saw it, got on the phone, you know, saying, hey, we've got a fire starting up. And I mean, the Georgia forestry people and others were on this thing immediately. And, but nevertheless, it just absolutely exploded. Okie Finoki, at the heart of it is, it's the Okie Finoki Swamp. You know, it's mysterious, it is large, it is wild, it has all those attributes that just come along with that name. It's, a, it's really a pleasure to be on a refuge that has name recognition all throughout the world. In order for the swamp ecosystem to, to maintain itself as a swamp ecosystem, it has to have fire. If it wasn't for droughts and fires and floods, the Okefenokee would just evolve into basically a forested bog with a lot less diversity with it than we have right now. So it's, it's integral to the health and long-term viability of the Okefenokee Swamp in the wilderness area to have fire and droughts and floods is what makes it, you know, so unique and beautiful. You know, it, it did what we know it does. It, it created a nutrient release that acted like a fertilizer to the entire ecosystem. Fire is good for the swamp. What concerns us and is when fire leaves the swamp, how it's gonna affect private properties. The idea is to contain the fire within the wildlife refuge where, you know, where it can burn and frankly where it's pretty well impossible to fight it anyway. You know, you can get people injured or killed trying to, you know, because, I mean, it's jungle out there, literally. The fire break is basically taking a running strip of land and removing the vegetation to the point that it won't burn. It'll stop a fire. What we call a season ending event, we have to have enough rain to actually put the fire out, anywhere from a five to six inch rainfall. When the fire had passed, you could tell that everything had received this dusting of ash. The grass all around us, it never has been greener than it was, you know, later on that summer after the, after the rainfall laid that ash down in the grass.